Hello everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to teach you to import a PDF file in AutoCAD. This is a very useful feature, especially if that file was previously created here in AutoCAD. And you will understand all these things on the next few minutes. To import a PDF file, I can click on the icon also located on the Insert tab here. I'm going to choose the file of the exercises. Then, the window that opens has a bit more complex options than for attaching images. Actually, this is a very useful function because if I insert a PDF that was previously created in AutoCAD, I can recover all the layers and the objects. As this PDF has two pages, first I need to click on the one that I want to import. On PDF data to import, I tick on Vector Geometry to import the lines, polylines, circles, arcs, and so on. If I tick on True Type Text, text created with a font that has this symbol will be automatically recognized as text. In AutoCAD, mo most fonts available are True Type, so usually this is not a problem here. The option below, I tick on it if I have raster images attached. In this case, there aren't, so I keep it unselected. Then, on the right panel, I tick on the first option, Use PDF layers. On the panel below, you can find more options to add. But for now, let's click on OK. And I am going to insert a file on the project. Nice. Now, if I go to the layer properties, I can see that new layers were created from the PDF, and due to the fact that I made this drawing in AutoCAD, the layers are the same from the original DWG file. I'm going to check out how the objects look like. And you can see here polylines among other objects. Also, look how the text was recognized. If the text was not on a true type font, it would be split in very small lines and arcs, which wouldn't be so interesting. However, not everything is perfect. The dimension lines are not recognized, neither block references, which means I have to create them again. But in general, insert PDF can be very useful. Just be aware. It's only available in the versions after AutoCAD 2017. So, it was everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cad in Black to get access to all the content of this channel. There are full tutorials, exercises, as well as tips and tricks. So, let's meet in the next occasion.